From Pele and Maradona to Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, we only get these sorts of players once in a lifetime as it is rare to have players of this calibre. We should be grateful for witnessing Ronaldo and Messi compete on football's biggest stages in the last 17 years. However, with these two nearing the end of their careers, many new names are emerging and ready to take their place. The likes of Haaland, Foden, Rashford, Rafael Liao, Vinicius Jr. and many others have the potential to become the world's best football players in the coming 10 years. But one name that could already be considered one of the best in world football, it's none other than the French Flash, Kylian Mbappe. So how did Mbappe start his career, and how will he be one of the game's faces for the upcoming years? Hang on tight as we take you on a journey through Kylian's career so far. Kylian was born on the 20th of December 1998 and was raised in Bondi, where he started his career at the city's club, AS Bondi. His youth coaches noticed something special about him since he was six years old, as he was able to do much more than the other kids. Kylian had exceptional dribbling skills and noticeable speed at such a young age, which made multiple top European clubs express their interest in him after his move to the Clairefontaine Academy. At the age of 11, Mbappe was invited by his dream club, Real Madrid, to train with the under-12s and visit the club's facilities. At age 14, he was invited by Chelsea to play a match for their youth team against Charlton. However, despite many clubs wishing to capture Kylian's signature at such a young age, he ultimately decided to join AS Monaco in 2015. Just three weeks after joining the Monegasque's B team, Mbappe earned a promotion to the main squad after displaying his impressive level of skill and maturity. AS Monaco's head coach, Leonardo Jardim, gave Mbappe his first team debut two months later in his team's match against Caen, making Mbappe the club's youngest ever first team player at the age of 16 years and 347 days. Mbappe scored his first goal for Monaco's senior team on the 20th of February 2016 in his game against Troyes, becoming Monaco's youngest first team goal scorer. It seems that Mbappe has always been destined to break records, hasn't he? In March 2016, Mbappe signed his first professional contract, tying him to Monaco for three years. 2016 to 2017 was Killian's breakthrough season, and it didn't take him long to start banging goals left, right, and center, as he managed to score his first professional hat trick during his team's 7 0 win against Rennes in the Coupe de la Ligue. He also managed to score his first League One hat trick in the same season against Metz, becoming the youngest player to score a hat trick in League One. Mbappe finished above PSG by 8 points and was crowned as the League One champion with Monaco, scoring 15 goals and assisting 11 in 29 league appearances. The young striker also managed to score 6 goals in 9 Champions League appearances, helping his team reach the UEFA Champions League semi-finals after eliminating the likes of Manchester City and Borussia Dortmund before losing to Juventus. Kylian earned his first call-up to the senior France squad in the same season, making him the second youngest player ever to feature for France at 18 years, 3 months and 5 days old. Despite the interest from his dream club Real Madrid and Zidane back then, Mbappe decided to join Paris Saint-Germain for a world record transfer rumoured to be 145 million euros, plus 35 million euros in add-ons, making him the most expensive teenager. Unai Emery was key for convincing Mbappe to snub Madrid and join PSG, as he promised the French youngster to play regularly. Mbappe did not take long to launch his PSG career the same as he finished with Monaco, scoring on his debut in a 5-1 League One win against Metz. Four days later, he scored his first European goal for PSG in a 5-0 against Celtic. Mbappe finished the season at Ligue 1 and Coupe de France winner with PSG, scoring 21 goals and assisting 16 in 44 appearances across all competitions. Mbappe was then called up to represent France in the 2018 World Cup held in Russia. He managed to score his first World Cup goal against Peru, making him the youngest French goalscorer in World Cup history at the age of 19. 
Mbappe went on to score another three goals in the tournament, with a brace against Argentina and another one in the final against Croatia, earning him another record as the second teenager to score in a World Cup final after Pelé. Kylian Mbappe kept on performing, going into the next season as he earned himself the 2018-2019 Player of the Year award and finished as the League One top scorer with 33 goals in 29 league appearances. Mbappe won his third consecutive League One title that season. However, PSG's Champions League campaign has been deemed a failure after blowing a 2-0 away advantage at Old Trafford and collapsing in Paris against Manchester United. The 2019-2020 season was nothing new for Mbappe as he kept on doing what he does best, which is scoring and creating goals. Kylian won the domestic treble with PSG, winning back-to-back -back the league's top goalscorer award after scoring 18 goals in 20 games. PSG was crowned as League One champions prematurely due to the season being cooled off amid the COVID-19 pandemic, won the Coupe de France and won the Coupe de la Liga trophies and reached their first Champions League final in history, but lost 1-0 against Bayern Munich. Again, in the 2020-2021 season, Kylian Mbappe finished as the League One Player of the Year and the top goalscorer for the third consecutive time, scoring 27 goals in 31 League One appearances. Kylian's impressive numbers were not only limited to the League One campaign, as he succeeded to score eight goals in 10 Champions League games, including his hat-trick against Barcelona in the last 16 round. This time, PSG missed out on the League One title and crashed out of the Champions League in the semi-finals against Manchester City. However, the Parisian club managed to lift the Coupe de France title. After three years in Paris, it was expected that Mbappe would land his dream move and join the Spanish giants Real Madrid. It was never a secret that he wanted to join Real, as many reliable journalists confirmed the player's intention to leave Paris during the summer. During PSG's opening game of the season, Mbappe was greeted with boos from the PSG fans amidst the speculations about his future. On the 21st of May 2022, in a surprising twist of events, Kylian Mbappe extended his contract with PSG until 2025. Kylian himself called Florentino Perez to tell him that he will be extending with PSG and that he will not be able to join Real Madrid. This sparked a huge controversy, which prompted La Liga officials to file a complaint to UEFA regarding accumulating losses of PSG in the previous years. Florentino Perez himself commented on the situation, stating that Mbappe decided to stay at PSG for economic and political reasons. Real Madrid labelled the French star as a traitor for not keeping his word. Mbappe went on to win the Player of the Year award and top goalscorer, scoring 28 goals in 35 league appearances. This season, Mbappe kept on performing on the same high level, scoring 12 goals in 14 League One appearances before joining France in the World Cup. I believe that every football fan witnessed what this phenomenon of a player did during Qatar's World Cup. I mean, you must be living under a rock if you haven't heard about him scoring a hat-trick in the World Cup final against Argentina, making him the first player to score a hat-trick in the final since Jeff Hurst back in 1966. Mbappe won himself the Golden Boot Award, scoring eight goals in the tournament and becoming the sixth all-time top goalscorer in World Cup history with 12 goals, tied with Pelé. Guys, we're talking about a 24-year-old guy here. Imagine what records he'll break when he reaches the end of his career. Despite his humongous contract extension with PSG last year, it is expected that Mbappe will get a move to another European giant in the future. It always looked like Mbappe is destined to play for the Los Blancos. However, it depends on whether Real Madrid will consider recruiting him again after the latest controversy. The door will also remain open for Kylian to join a Premier League club as Manchester City is more than capable to afford his transfer fee. And with the potential of new owners buying Liverpool and Manchester United, the French wonderboy might end up in the English league. So do you think that Mbappe will keep on breaking new records each year? And where do you think he'll go when his time at PSG comes to an end? Let us know in the comments below.